What's up, guys? It's Chachi Power here to do a review of the Choco King Hobo Kitty. This release celebrates her 40th anniversary. Can you believe she's 40 years old and still looks like a little baby? Uh, this is the box it comes in. By the way, heavy, very heavy. I think if you threw this at somebody, you can probably knock their head off. And the sides just show a little uh, comics style, newsprint style, whatever design there. And the top shows her, of course, with her rocket punch feature. So she fits right into this channel. And then a bunch of stuff in Spanish down here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open it up, alright? And I noticed while opening this up, I didn't actually take her out yet to check her out. I only saw her in Toy Fair. Um, and I got to handle her or whatever. Uh, was it Toy Fair or Comic Con? I don't quite remember. But anyway, I noticed there's double tape on a lot of Chogokin stuff I get. And I I'm sure at the factory, you know, they forget, like, maybe something or they got to do quality control. It's just annoying. You know, because every time they do that, they uh, not only do they double tape it, but they end up folding the flap, and that's like a pet peeve of mine. I don't know if you can see the fold. Can't get it to shine. Anyway, there's a fold there from them putting double tape, but it's annoying. It's like, how, you know, how can you forget something? This thing barely has any anything. You, there's like three things. You get a, a book, you get the actual figure, and then... Then you get a tray, like, what, did they forget the tray and then open it up? Did they forget the book? Maybe the book? I don't know. They forgot something, so apparently they felt the need to open it a second time. But anyway, what I'm holding here is the display base and her little bow thing, which does uh, turn into, like, her flaps for swimming, I think it is, or flying, the wings. It turns into her wings, but I think it's also for underwater use right here. And the actual base for you to display it. Uh, here is the uh, booklet which allows you to read stuff in Japanese All right, and here is the actual figure like I said I didn't open it yet I just wanna get and I'm gonna assume let's see her head is probably here since this is the heaviest side so we'll go ahead and see if I am correct we'll go, uh, this is also you know what they probably forgot to put the figure in the styrofoam because the figure is also double taped I mean what, what can you possibly forget to put in there if you're quality controlling it, just set that one to the side. Sell it cheaper or something. Don't charge me the same price as somebody who got one that wasn't open and fumbled with. Alright. My little rant there. Oh, no, never mind. Had her upside down. Uh, so here she is. Very cool. Uh, very white. Let me try and adjust the lighting here. Alright, and... Uh, I don't even know what to pop out first, but here is the actual Hello Kitty. Because this is not Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty. This is the robot she goes into. But here is the actual Hello Kitty. you notice she's got something sticking out of her butt. Looks like she gets fired uh, from a missile launcher or something. So that'd be pretty weird and interesting, I guess. We'll have to check that out. And then we'll go ahead and pull out the actual Gokin here. Whoa. Oh my lord, this is heavy. This is even heavier than the Doraemon uh, Chogokins. By far, this is even heavier than the big Doraemon Chogokin I have. This is literally all metal. Except for the bow and the arms. But she is all metal, guys. This is ridiculous. Wow, this is it's pretty insane. I, I, I know I held her, her, the figure... Um, <laughs> during the uh, Comic Con toy fair, I can't even remember which one it was. They showed me the prototype, and I was probably just so tired of being at the whole event um, without sleep that I I didn't really really grasp the heaviness of this. But a little scuffing, but it, it's because it's white. Uh, can always rub that off later. But I mean, overall, just the impression of of half the finish, and just knowing this is. <laughs> This is pure metal, guys. This is ridiculous. Uh, so give me a moment to uh, calm myself, and then uh, we'll start checking it out. All right, so those are a couple pieces I pulled out. Uh, I'm going to assume this is part of the stand. I'll check it out in the instructions in a moment. You get these two little black pieces. You get this here, which I'm also going to figure out what it is in just a moment. Let's split apart in half. 
I showed you the Hello Kitty already, and then her fist, which is just little round nubs here, and this, which is probably also for the stand. So uh, let's go ahead and pop her fists in, and just like that, and they snap in rather nicely. Put her down. All right, so let's all get started now that we're here. So this is my first time messing with this. Um, I normally r look over the figures first, but uh, I just want you to share in my enjoyment here. So it comes with this little uh, thing that reads in Spanish, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, and then this here, all right? And I know I'm joking around. People always try and correct me. That's not Spanish. That's Japanese. I know that. You guys don't understand my humor sometimes, I guess. But here is the instructions in Japanese. Let's see what it says. Uh, sushi, Kawasaki, blah, blah, blah. All right, so apparently this is... Uh, the way that you're going to put it together, which we just did, uh, how certain features work, uh, how to set up the stand, which is always fun, and how you can put away the pieces when uh, you're not using them. And I guess this is where she gets fired from. Hello Kitty, as you can see there, in the rocket punch feature, which you guys know I love that stuff. And, uh, and this. A another cool thing about this, guys, is uh, when I showed my wife this thing, uh, it was very difficult uh, to try and keep her from stealing it. Um, so this apparently is now hers, um, which is fine. It's kind of cool that she can uh, join in the fun of collecting Chogokin, but I'm probably going to just get another one just for myself in case this thing disappears. Uh, and at the price that it is, you can get them for less than 40 bucks shipped. You're not going to get this amount of metal anywhere for that amount of money. The only downside is if you're not a Hello Kitty fan or if you just don't want a cutesy robot, then you're pretty much out of luck. Uh, so, let's see where we can start. How about articulation? Let's do that. So, articulation on Hello Kitty. Ratcheted head. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? All right. And then she's got uh, just friction type hands. And no waist. And just legs. Also ratcheted can you hear that can you hear that all right and that's it that's your articulation so next is showing you the feature of her loading now if I remember correctly we have to push this button on the top just push it down see and that opens up uh, there's a lot of force going on with that almost an unnecessary amount uh, but yeah that's how it is so she's going to dock is this Posable? No, the head doesn't turn. All right, so that's not posable. So you, she's gonna sit sideways in the cockpit. All right, just like that. And is uh, the control area here is her head, which is a little weird. And bring this down. This is spring loaded, as you can see. And then this has to turn this way and push it in, and it stays. So there she is. Uh. What else was I going to show you? So let's open this up. I did want to show you something. The little face here, I believe, yep, that's what changes her eyes. So she gets the yellow eyes with the lines molded, you know, uh, going across. And she's got the angry eyes and the regular eyes. So that's a cool, neat little feature there. And at first I thought that button there was to shoot her out. So you can take her out, but you can just easily do that with your hands. And let's check out the rocket punch feature. Make sure I'm not in the way. I'm always in the way when I do this. And boop. all right, so it's not strong, and it I didn't expect it to be strong either. There you go. But this is what I wanted to check out. And yep, there you go. She actually fits into the fist. So a little strange, but awesome. Now before we move on, I did want to touch on something because uh, I know the paint is beautiful the white here is positively perfect it's like glass it's glass smooth now because the body is die cast uh, I don't know what the paint procedures are for die cast but um it's not perfect it's there's a little mess up right there and it looks like they might have touched up little bits here but nothing to the point of it being like the other future uh, releases I've bought in the past, which which have a lot of mess ups, but uh, this is probably the most mess ups I've seen in a Bandai 
uh, Chagokin in a long time. Uh, and that's really not that big of a deal. But the head itself is completely, completely beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the shine, but it's really glossy. It's kind of hard to show you the gloss when there's so many lamps here, but uh, beautiful. I guess the next thing we'll show you is the stand pieces here. All right, so let's get cracking on this. Open this up. Of course, it's got tape. Where do they put tape on this? All right. So you get a nice little stand with uh, gold chrome. Um, I believe it says Hello Kitty. All right, and you get the little bow here, which we are going to check out. Let's just put this together here, that, and somehow it has something to do with this, so we're going to check it out in just a moment, but uh, let's set up the stand. All right, we're going to grab this little piece. Apparently this little piece goes, the smaller piece goes to the right side, and then this piece goes back here, and it's keyed so that you don't put it the wrong way because there's actually an angle I don't know if you can see there's an angle down here so it's keyed so you can only put it one way All right, so now that we have the stand set up we are going to uh, get her into flight mode the flight mode is easy uh, I didn't show you this in the articulation but uh, let's put Hello Kitty in there because someone needs to be flying her alright so once I pop her in and close this alright so to set her in flight mode put the arms up actually we'll do that after we move the head but the head moves that way and that was also nicely ratcheted and you'll see the mechanism in there uh, <laughs> just dropped it pretty heavy and put the arms up this way All right. and when she's in flight mode she obviously needs wings so to set up the wings you need this little bow looking thing here you also need this red thing here which I showed you before uh, and you need this. Now to use this we do have to pop off this little blue thing on her back push her tail out pop that in then pop this in and now we can attach the wing set. All right, just like that and now we lay her on the stand. So there she is in flight mode. Now she also has a swimming mode which is we're gonna leave her like that for now in this mode but she also does have a swimming mode which utilizes these pieces here. So we're gonna take these apart all right, and they're gonna attach this way. I don't think it matters which one you use. All right, so that forms one flipper then put the other one and you'll see the boosters down here I didn't really show you guys that but she's got boosters on the bottom of her feet pop that on and also pop this on and there she is with the flippers swimming through the ocean the instructions do show her with her arms down this way in uh, what do you call it flipper mode here and also with the uh, yellow eyes activated so we'll do that since that's probably the proper way. There's also another thing I want to show you when you're going to use a stand with her normally. Um, I want to take these off so that you don't lose these. You can actually store them underneath here. So let's see if, uh, if I can do that first shot. Put them in like so. Then pop these in right in these holes here. All right, so now you got them stored away, and you can also store away the uh, block pieces. So little round things in there to pop them in. Got one, where's the other? It's right back here. Pop them in right at the bottom. Now the last bit I want to show you, and always make sure you pop this back in so you don't lose it, is the sitting mode, which requires a stand so you can display it. So you put her head back to normal. Um, I'm going to take out Hello Kitty from the inside here. All right, go ahead and close. Oh, actually, let's change our eyes. Let's do the mean eyes. All right, so let's put the regular eyes there for the display. And we're going to put her in sitting position. And you'll notice there's wheels on the bottom here. 
and they actually roll. They're die cast or whatever, steel, not die cast, they're steel wheels and there's a roller right on her tail also. Uh, it doesn't spin that freely, at least on mine. don't know why, but it's not spinning freely on this one. No big deal, I'm not going to be rolling her around, but the whole purpose is for her to ride around in the robot as a vehicle, like so. Alright, so neat little feature. And go ahead and sit her down, I'm trying to figure out how this goes here. Alright, so actually there's little detents on the stand where her steel wheel should go, so that way it'll sort of hold her. And then just pop in the Hello Kitty there, just like that. Alright, and uh, that's pretty much going to bring us to the end, guys. This is how she's going to be displayed, maybe, or with the mean eyes. We'll see what my wife lets me do with this. And if you have any questions or comments, guys, leave them below. If you want to pick one of these up, BBTS has them available, so check that out. Link is down below. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.